नीम ऑफ अल्लाह द मोस्ट ग्रेशियस द मोस्ट मर्सीफुल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल नादिर हुसैन एयर इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड यूनियन ऑफ टाइप्स इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टाइप्स एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए टाइप एंड एन इंटरफेस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम एडवांस टॉपिक्स सच एज स्ट्रक्चरल टाइप सिस्टम वाट इज इट एंड हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्राम नॉमिनेटेड टाइप सिस्टम ऑफ अदर स्टेटिक टाइप लैंग्वेज जस्ट एज जावा वाट आर द जेनेरिक्स एंड वाट इज देयर मेन बेनिफिट एंड वी विल सी यूज ऑफ एक्सटेंड एज ए कंस्ट्रेंट नॉर्मली वी हैव सीन एक्सटेंड बींग यूज इन द इनहेरिटेंस बट हेयर वी विल सी इट डिफरेंट यूज इन द टाइप स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो वाट इज स्ट्रक्चरल टाइप सिस्टम स्ट्रक्चरल टाइप सिस्टम बेसिकली follows a saying uh, if saying basically uh, uh, will be helpful to understand that uh, it says that if it looks like a duck then it is a duck so what does that mean so let me uh, explain it by the example so let's suppose we have a type named person which contains just one property name and there is an other uh type we define uh, let it be customer it contains name as well as string so these are two different types they have no relationship with each other right we have we are not extending it or something uh, not relating each other but define two different uh types and uh, let me uh, make a variable as well customer id 1 2 3 and uh, name ali okay there is a function which returns name of a person return person dot name so if you see carefully this function get name is expecting a parameter of type person right however let's see what happens if we pass it customer instead of a person type parameter it works uh, type script uh, shows no error in java uh, basically in java or other static languages work on the nominal type system in nominal type system it is essential that the parameter that is passed to this function is of this type right it it compares name of the types as well however type script follows structural type system in structural type system uh, it expects that uh, just the structure should be same the parameter that you are passing should resemble uh, with this type should not exactly be like in names does not matter as far as structure matters so by what means by structure is that so this type contains name property of type string customer also contains a name property of type string so this is a common thing uh, structure matches whatever was required in that per type person that is available in the customer however customer also contains some extra property of id uh there is no issue a uh, type script uh, does does not have any issue with the extra properties as long as it contains the required uh, properties of the type uh, declared in the function signature because structure resembles i hope you have got the point right this this is called structural type system okay uh now uh, the, our next topic was uh, generics say that what what are they and what is their many be, main benefit generics basically are used uh, to avoid uh, repetition just like functions however the difference between generics and function is in function we pass the values right the variables however in case of generics we pass uh, just types uh, you can say that generics are function for the types as well let's understand that how they basically uh, help us to avoid repetition so let's suppose uh, we write a function get first 
element of array and we pass input array uh, number array and it returns first element fine however what if uh, we have defined uh, a string array this is a string array right uh, and we if we want to use this get first element and pass this string array this is giving uh, going to give us the error why because this function was written specifically for the number array type string array is not assignable to parameter of type number array so what should uh, we, we we have to rewrite this function duplicate this function for the string input here generic can help us to avoid this situation how uh, so let's suppose i remove number and i pass just t t is basically generic type uh, right t symbol is uh, used uh, to represent a generic type here we will go we are going to pass t as well so now this same function is give, going to work whatever uh, uh, type of array we are going to pass it because uh, because the, we have uh, basically parameterized it we have uh, represented that whatever type it is you have to assign uh, the uh, return the first element of that array so it is going to work with string as well as it is going to work with number one two three if we pass number array it is fine this is how generics help us uh, to generalize code and uh, reuse the same code and avoid repetition uh, you can uh, basically use uh, this, these generics in types in interfaces uh, in classes as well in case of interface or a type how can you uh, use it you can use it like this uh, let's suppose name string and you have some metadata whose type you are not sure of what type it is going to be uh, you can assign it like this that whatever when whenever user calls or engineer calls this person interface uh, anywhere in the code they will specify the metadata type it can be a number it can be a number array or string or whatever right uh, good so this is uh, these are the generics uh, you can go through the their details further uh, however I have introduced you uh, with the examples hopefully you have got it uh, the third uh, element on our today video was extend being used as a uh, constraint so normally we use extend when we have to uh, extend an interface from the other or extend a class uh, right uh, so, so subclass right in case of concept of inheritance but in case of typescript there is one more use of it as well so here we have get first element what uh, and I have specified that there will be a type what if here I write t uh, t extends string it simply means and uh, I have removed the array number array 1 2 3 uh, it simply means that T whatever T you pass right when you actual concrete type is passed to this function when this function is called this is a concrete uh, variable this T should uh, be uh, basically here this extend keyword means that t should be subset of string right he, uh, here it, it does not make sense if we read it like uh, t is subclass of string or t is uh, basically subtype of string no here uh, subtype or extend means that t is subset of string so any type uh, so number array is obviously not going to work 
but let's suppose uh, we define a custom type which is uh, limited string and uh, here uh, it contains only a, a union of a b uh, c so th these three possible values and we define an array limited string array so uh, domain of this type is not whole string right these are just three values are the possible values being assigned to variable of this type so we declare it like this and uh, a b c we assign these three values we cannot assign d because that is not in the possible values right we will have to remove this so now uh, this is not of type this array is not of type string rather limited string right or subset so if we pass it this should work fine you see no error so this is the use of extend extend here is being used as a constraint constraint uh, constraining the type narrowing the type hopefully you have got this concept uh, so uh, let's uh, meet in the next video with the new concepts thank you very much